Now, as we continue our show from the American Society of Cinematographers, I wanted to show you this camera. It's called a blimp. And the blimp was a covering. This one is made of leather in order to keep the camera quiet. It's a 1939 Mitchell manufactured expressly for RKO pictures. It's only one of ten made. Only two survive. And back there is a wonderful shot of Captain Hepburn being filmed by the legendary George Falsey. Our next collector was so smitten with the film classics Casablanca and the Maltese Falcon, he purchased their most familiar props. Here is looking at two wonderful movie icons made famous by one true Hollywood legend, Humphrey Bogart. If you're an incurable romantic, you have to love the film Casablanca. Collector Dr. Gary Milan is so passionate about this movie, he actually purchased the piano from Rick's Cafe. Insured for over $1 million, the piano is part of an exhibit at the Warner Brothers Museum in Burbank, California. The piano from Rick's Cafe is one of the great icons of American film. And those who hear the music or see the piano always respond in, in amazing ways. Many times they look at the piano and say it's very small. And they're surprised at that. Bogart wasn't very tall. And if you look at the photographs of him, you'll see that he's standing back of the piano and his elbows are on the piano. So they needed a smaller one, and they needed one that was portable, that's pushed all over Rick's Cafe. Dr. Milan loves the film so much, he didn't stop at the piano. He also owns a pair of very authentic looking passports, along with the transit papers Ingrid Bergman and her on-screen husband used to escape from Casablanca. The piano isn't really complete without the transit papers because the transit papers were hidden in the back of that piano. And if you read them, they look very official, and they were printed by the Warner Brothers printing department, who made some very good phony documents. In addition to Dr. Milan's Casablanca collection, he owns the legendary Maltese Falcon from the film of the same name. Yes, the real Maltese Falcon. Everybody that finds a 2995 Maltese Falcon thinks he's got the real thing. He's won the lottery. He's got the stuff that dreams are made of. It's amazing. But Dr. Milan says his rare bird is worth over one million dollars and he can prove it. The Falcon matched the image on the screen. It had the right serial numbers. It matched all of the um, information in the Warner Brothers archives as to weight, height, the material from which it was made. Convinced they don't make them like they used to, Dr. Milan is happy to share them with the general public. All of these items are in the Warner Brothers Museum for one single purpose. They deserve to be seen by as many people as possible. Here's looking at your kid. Dr. Milan has also collected one more featured piece from the production of Casablanca. He is the proud owner of the doors to the entrance of Rick's Cafe. Now our